Maybe there's something over here. Nope. Why am I collecting hearts? Uh, I'm pretty much full and I don't have a good sub-weapon. You know, that's another thing about this game that can break it. Once you get the cross, that's it. The power of Christ will compel these bitches. And I do it again, why? It's just compulsion. No. That's probably a shortcut, but I want to get more items and I want map completion. I haven't decided if I'm- Oh, no! Oh, you are going to die for that! Oh! <laughs> again! Then... Okay, I need double jump and shit. Ooh, level up! Leveling up pretty fast, too. Ah, oh, shit. Literally, I mean... He's made of mud, so... And there's bats flying everywhere, so... Some shit probably got mixed in with that. Anyway, I do remember having to do a fair bit of... Please... Ah, oh, I thought it was an item. Shit, please. Okay, I'm strong enough to hit them with one twirl, that's good. I wonder how much I'm gonna grind, because I remember after beating death and the, this catacombs area you started gets infested with fucking grizzly bears, I remember grinding like mad with those bears. Because they give more experience than the average bear. Why did I... Why did I make a Yogi Bear joke just then? I, I, I don't know. Ooh. That'll be useful. And the good old gargoyles from Castlevania 3. Yeah, that... that'll be helpful. Kinda getting chewed up down there. And I wanna be at level 5 or 6 before I take on... the boss. But yeah, I'm having fun playing this again. This looks great on a big TV. Plus all the nostalgic memories. Oh yeah. Okay, I definitely want to come down here. This will help with powering up. In fact... How much ex Okay, 205, that's good. I'm gonna look at my map again, real quick. Alright, I don't... I think I missed anything. That's the way it is in these Metroidvanias, all sorts of little hidden secrets and shit. I, mean, I love me my 2D Metroidvanias. I mean, I'm a bit of a retro game hoarder, I've been buying shit up, buying shit up. I mean, at the time I'm recording this, two days prior, I went and bought a copy of fucking Chrono Trigger for the Super NES. And that's why I came here for it. It's holy water, that's gonna help immensely with the boss. How much... 
I I'm gonna grind against these fuckers again. Definitely want to be at least level 5. Yeah, like I was saying, I'm a retro game holder. I've been buying stuff up, buying stuff up. But what finally makes me just sit down and play something? Something that was put online for free. Yes, I am talking about another Metroid 2 remake. Anyway, let's see if those items are any good. Let's use some holy water, because why not show off a little. Right, one more little grinding session, and then that should be enough. And if not, I'll definitely get up to level 5 before I get to the boss. Ah, uh, shit tits. Let's use the holy water again, just because we can. I'm concentrate on this piece of shit. Wow, it really sticks around for a while. Close enough. And where was that save point? Back there. I mean, I'm starting to think the boss will be right up here. Flea men. Oh, they're called hoppers. Oh, level up. Knew it. Magic increase. That'll help because I'm definitely going to be using, well, the only card combination I have. I much prefer using the combination that turns your whip into a sword. I'm going to go back and save it real quick, then toast that fucking boss. I don't think you need to grind too heavily for this game, but I like to. Ah, yeah, whipped it out of the air before it could roast me this time. Yeah, I got the mad skills. This game, it really is possibly the best merging of old school Castlevania style with a Metroid style organization. Ooh! I mean, it's hard, and it just has the look and the feel, and. And most importantly, your heart or separate from your magic power. I don't like how the later games just had your heart hearts refilling magic. <laughs> Shit, knew it was gonna jump and I still got nailed. And again. Oh shit. Oh shit. Ah, this is why I wanted to save. No recovery items to speak of. Oh, I'm getting my ass kicked. I knew this was gonna happen. And I didn't even turn that on. Dumbass. <sighs> Alright, let's give it another shot.
like I said, it's not very easy. I mean, to kind of emphasize how easy Symphony of the Night could be, the first real boss was what? Guy, Garbon, and Slagra, those two guys from Castlevania 4. And he whipped their asses pretty easily. It's like something that was an, a bot. step ahead of him this time. Okay, this time the little lightning ball things. Ah, uh, really? I'm doing better. Right, right up the ass. And now in your face. What? Trying. Oh, there. Now it was in your face. Oh, okay. Where well, you can't hurt me. Fine, whatever. Really? What are you gonna do? <sighs> I can turn that off. See where I can use that. Let's go get some more map completion item completion done now. No time like the present. Stop. Save real quick and then. I'm gonna get as much of the map done as I can. I don't know if I'm gonna be going through the whole. the whole arena. I've done the arena before. Yes, I can beat the devil right at the end without any magic. It is doable. I think I was like at level 60 or 70 when I did it, though. Anyway, that'll be it for now. See you soon.